Welcome to Latman Farms Farmers Day edition. So we are trying to transfer these fish into our new pond. <clears throat> so we have a tarpaulin pond here. And yes, we are transferring big fish. We are transferring some of our big fish. You know, today we have our last man farms training and we are transferring these guys into a new pond. We are transferring them. So there is one inside. We are bringing all of them into this new pond. What's up guys? Welcome to our Farmers Day edition of Latman Farms. I am so excited, extremely excited. You can't believe the level to which I am excited to just transfer these guys who have been in this tank, this particular tank for a long time. And I just want to move them to a new pond. Someone will say, where's the water? We have drained all the water. Look at this fish, it's not even going inside. Let's go guys, let's go. This one is a female. You can see it from this side. All right. So we lower it gently into their new pond. Yeah, yes. And then allow them to swim uh, like this. So like this. So yes, we have the Stapolin pond that has been here for a long time. And then we have decided to transfer our fish, our older fishes, into this new pond. Come on. What's the average time spent in transferring them? All right, so this uh, transfer is not going to take us, it shouldn't take us more than 15 minutes in transferring them. You know, these guys, they've been here for quite some time. I initially used them for boot stock and then uh, later on i decided to stop using them for brood stock we've sold a lot of our fish and uh yeah these guys are like my rambo very very big fish so come on so the transfer is done gradually you hold it like this and then you just allow them to just go down so this apolline pond um, we have some filters that we built for it uh, because of the training we are doing today you know we are doing the Lachman farms training and so we decided to dismantle everything and then those who are going to come for the training we are going to set everything up you are going to know how to build your filter and how to um, run them uh, at all times. So yes, you'll be asking, last one, why have you removed all the the water from the fish? This one is too much. Yeah, this one is too much. Yeah, this is big rambo, Emmanuel Joe. You can, I can see you. This is big rambo, and they are going into this pond.
Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, it's a nice thing to be a farmer. Sometimes you get to enjoy some of these things where you see your works, you enjoy the beauty of your work. And as much as we are working, uh, this is also fun. It's also fun to do, actually. So we cleaned the pond, we sterilized the pond and everything. And then we decided to just transfer them from the other tank, the square tank, into this particular one. Uh, we have some of the fish weighing about 2 kg, some of them 1.5. And then some of them too are quite small. And so um, in your fish farming practices, sometimes what you need to do is you need to um, sort your fish so that you don't have or you don't encounter uh, some of these things that uh, yes, uh, we are talking about. But yes, welcome to our Farmer's Day edition, transferring our big fish into this pond. And so you look at the fish that is coming, so big, huge. This one is not Rumble, this one is Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Come on. And so they are going to enjoy life. Yes, they are going to enjoy life. So normally, you see we are doing the transfer quite early in the morning. Uh, catfish can spend close to 30 minutes out of water. And so you don't have too much problem wondering about water issues. The only thing is um, you need to look at... Uh, the age of the fish and then based on that you can um, tell what you can do you understand so depending on the age of the fish you, you can let them stay out of the water for a long time but when they are fingerlings you don't want to do that so much because you are going to uh, have them stress i can see my 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 guys is oh look at this look at this Look at this, and see, look. see this beautiful fish. Again, look at this beautiful fish. Come on, come and enjoy your new home. Enjoy your new home. Okay, so gently, and then they swim, gently, and then they swim. That is how you drop fish into your new pond. Don't come and come and throw them. You understand me? You don't throw them. All right, so um, if, you are, if you've joined us, this is uh, Latman Farms, Farmers Day edition. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I have seen Emmanuel Ojo, I have seen Emmanuel Kelebela. Ah, uh, Emmanuel Kelebela, thank you. Um, I can see there are a couple of other people as well. Please uh, let me know who you are. Uh, just give me a shout out. Or let me also give you a shout out. And then we'll see what we'll do, okay? I'll just give you a thumbs up. But then, yes, you guys are amazing. And my fish are also amazing. The, these fish have been here for quite some time. They've been in the square tank for a long time. But now I'm giving them a new home. And then I'll transfer some fingerlings into that small tank. This setup is just the setups I have in my house because um, we are having a bigger farm. And so these ones are what the ones I keep with myself. Okay, so we have John Briggs. Hey, John Briggs. Welcome. It's nice to have you. I hope today you're having a lovely day. And uh, yeah, you transfer them gently. So you need your net. You need to have a nice net that can hold them. This net is not necessarily for my brood stock. Uh, the one for the brood stock, I've left it at uh, the bigger farm. But uh, uh, these ones are normally for our fingerlings and so when you're transferring fingerlings uh, yes so that's why we have to bridge it by holding it from one side to the other side yeah i have whatsapp number when you check the channel info you would see the whatsapp uh, details over there and then you can hit us also at the end of this live stream in the description section we would have our contacts being displayed over there so you don't have any problem uh reaching us uh, john briggs okay but yes, I'm so, so, so much happy. I'm so, so much happy about what's happening here. Just, just, just take your time. Look at them. Look at this fish. Oh my God. I don't know. If you are not amazed, you're a suspect. Because I am so much amazed by what I am seeing this morning. Transferring 
these big fish from the other tank into this tank and then you allow the fish to just swim and then good you go you see how fast they can swim and then they like to gather at one place so when they pick a spot they'll go and then they'll dominate that area yes so last month farm strain will be coming on 9 a.m gmt and um, this is just a small live stream we are doing we decided to um, uh, de entangle these things these are filters that we built so those who are coming for the training we'll just teach them how to build your filters uh, this is a simple concept we are trying to run we have a fish tank we have some filters over here and then we have a grow bed and then it works like an aquarium and uh, come on this is big this guy is so big look at the head oh my god oh my god let me see the six ah this one is a female as well it's like my females are doing so well my, this this one is just a backyard sister right? so i don't feed them too much they, i just feed them quite a little and then they're okay look at how nice this fish is looking and then it's enjoying life so they'll try to get acquainted to the new pond that you have placed them in they'll try to move around survey the temperature survey the everything in the pond and then now they'll start um, enjoying themselves so uh, yeah this is a tarpaulin setup that um, has been in my backyard it's been here for yeah they are very huge ed they are very very huge and this is just a backyard setup uh this backyard setup so um over here i'm coming over here we have uh, this tank but then um I, I know you can see a certain building at the back there that is my processing facility that's where we process our fish most of the time we do just um, about a ton of fish um every single uh week just we smoke one ton of fish and then we are good to, good to go yes beautiful fish beautiful fish i think this one is smaller this one is smaller but then the one after it is quite huge it's quite huge and so imagine on a holiday like this imagine you choose to grill some of them invite a couple of friends over if you want to charge them yes charge them charge them and then if you want to give them out for christmas you can but yes this is catfish farming made easy uh, when is the next training the location and then the cost uh, the next training i cannot tell when we have our next training yet uh, the trainings we do them as and when uh the, the, the something happens and then we do that training and so we'll take a look at that but then um our trainings are also streamed on a couple of uh, closed uh, platforms and so even if you want to join for today you can easily join uh, but then the location is in adrengano adrengano is closer to east lego and trasaco um, it's between trasaco and then um, is legon and that's where you have a drink gano that you can come and join the train it looks like my my guy is done and so yes we have this fish in this pond um currently i'll say the the water in this pond is almost about 2500 liters of water so that's enough water for these fish i think we didn't count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen yeah, so I have about just 17 uh, big fish over here. So when anybody comes to visit me, I can just allow them to come and enjoy some life uh, with my fish. And so, yes, as I told you, these, these things are for the fingerlings, very small ones. And these ones are for like um, fingerlings, but then they are, they're quite bigger ones. And so I have a pump. I have a pump that when the water from this pond, um, this pond, the water from this pond will be suctioned by a pump and then to go through the filters at the back there and then the filters will try and uh, clean the water make sure the water is quite good enough it goes into the grow bed and then the grow bed i have some plants inside there we decided to take some of them out and then start the whole system again but this system is run by a solar uh, system and so we have the the solar pumps here and then a couple of things as well uh, yes uh, this pond is um, a pond that currently we've taken out all the fish in this pond uh, why have we done that we have done that because uh, the concrete pond is leaking and so it's giving me a couple of challenges and um, yes 
So the fish that you saw in the other tank, they were over here and then we decided to just uh, pull out the water. Why? So in your house, you can use the water from the fish. You can uh, harvest the water. And then if you have some nice plants as well, you can do what? You can use it to water the plant. So if you take a look at it, uh, you can see that uh, this, this pine uh, plant is doing quite well. And then also the, the pear is also doing quite well. And so in an area like this, you can use water from your fish pond to to um, I, to farm some nice vegetables. I started my fish farm with this main tank. This was the tank I started my fish farm with. And uh, currently I've taken out all the fish inside this tank. I've taken out all the fish inside the other tank as well. So I started with tank A. And then um, after a while, when I was doing good in the business, and then I decided to move to tank B. And then I decided to move to tank C. But these were the, this was the first tank. And then the concrete tank was here a long time ago. And so yes, this, and then uh, now we come here, and then uh, now we come here. So uh, when you are trying to start a catfish farm business, there are different, different things and other things that you can take advantage of. You can take advantage of the tank system, where you have your tanks. You can take advantage of the concrete ponds, where depending on where you are and how beautiful you want it to look like, you just have that concrete pond like feature in there and they all have their advantages and then their disadvantages and so when people come for our trainings these are some of the things you are going to share with them and then we have the tarpaulin ponds i think there's this tarpaulin pond the other tarpaulin pond too um we are going to we are trying to culture tilapia very soon that's uh, yes that's uh, what we are trying to do so we'll culture some tilapia and then yes we have this processing area 15 by 15 square space which I am using to smoke my fish. Currently, my, my guys have locked the place, but then I'm sure when you check on the channel, you see a couple of episodes that um, uh, take it out and then uh, turn it the other way. So he's just trying to put on the pump over here, the solar pump, and then um, you see how it works as well. So yeah, the lights comes on and then it will just suction the water like this. And then the water runs from here and then it comes into your fish pond and so and so yeah something like this and so when it comes to aeration there are different different ways you can aerate your pond and when they come for the training we would show them how everything is being done from how to set up your ponds to how to make sure you are maintaining good water quality and then we have uh, filters that we are going to build. We have um, air compressors that we are going to make available. And then a couple of other things as well. Also still to come, still to come in today's training. Still to come in today's training, we have a black soldier fly larvae production also in place. And so if you can see over here, uh, I hope you can see, if you can't see, uh, let, me, let me go inside. So this is more or less like a baby's uh, mosquito net. You can get it for like uh, less than 40 Ghana cities. And then this is the larvae. This is the larvae. You can see that they are not moving too much. And so when they hatch, they look like this. They start looking like this. And so there are a couple of them inside and then they'll be hatching. And so in, as part of today's training, uh, we are going to teach how to also set up this uh, black soldier fly larvae production. And then, um, yeah, yeah. What well, uh, importance of black soldier fly larvae, you can use them to um, produce fish feed. And uh, when you check on the channel, we have a couple of episodes where we have um, discussed and mentioned a couple of things about that. Also, another interesting thing about these black soldier flies, they are going to give you fish feed and then they are also going to give you calcium and then they are also going to give you what we call the compost so the black soldier fly they are going to feed on all your organic waste so when i say organic waste your tomatoes your rotten tomatoes your dog poo your any organic waste you produce in your kitchen in your house these black soldier fly larvae are going to feed on them and then they are going to give you what we have here so over here this is a compost 
this is a compost and this compost is um, from the black soldier fly larvae and so they have fed on some uh, pig manure and then also some i think um, i think it, this one is just pure pig manure and then i've had my dogs coming to pee in it and um, yeah and the importance of this is this now i tried it out you know normally with latman farms we want to try something and then before we get up and then we come and tell you guys to all run into it and then do it and so i had some uh, plants i bought i bought some mint some mint yeah um i got about some three mints and then they were doing quite um, well on and off and then i just introduced them to what we have here so this is my mint looking beautiful i have uh, i think this one is my chocolate mint this one is peppermint and then this one is just the regular mint and they were doing quite well and then the moment i gave them the the compost from the black soja fly larvae oh my god they just started blossoming and so we are doing a very beautiful garden and you can do anything in this fish farming thing we are discussing you can do anything very very beautiful provided you want to do it you don't need a very big space if you have um, any space even like this space like this in just this small area you can do something you can set up one fish pond you can have some nice plants you can have your small black soldier fly larvae production and then you are good to go provide uh, grow some compost you can go into um into garden or any other thing uh, is uh, farming is one of the things that sorry about that but uh, <clears throat> as i was saying farming is one of the things that brings us fulfillment in life the moment you you enter into anything f in relation to farming it helps you to work around your depression it helps you to feel like you are doing something with your life farming is not a punishment and look at what you are, i'm doing in my house this is in my backyard i have quite a big backyard actually and so and some of you you have very big backyards but you are doing nothing with them and you see these whole things i tell people that you can even introduce them to your children and your children will appreciate nature more rather than just um, letting them play the other instruments and other things and um, the, you can also introduce them to a bit of some farming and so <clears throat> as part of our training we have these tanks over here these small tanks over here and then we are going to drill some holes in them and then we are going to also use them to build filters as well and uh, last month farms I i'm just trying to do almost anything and everything but i love fish so much and then i i have with me over here um, a small grass cutter each um lord willing uh, today uh, today during or after the training i would have my grass cutter coming in and then uh, we can uh, see what we can do with them uh, so yes the 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 farming and everything we are doing is, is, is something that um, we are not necessarily saying it should be a business but if you want it to be a business as well we've got you and we'll show you the processes in place so that you can also uh, benefit from uh, them and so um, thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for joining this live stream uh, for those who said you didn't hear about the training uh, you have to keep on watching our episodes because if we have a training coming up the episodes before that we mentioned it to you yes uh, ed you said that uh, you didn't hear the training the training uh, is in accra the tr this particular one is in accra yes uh, that's why we decided to do the training today the training is in accra and um we we're charging 500 ghana cities it's running for two days okay it's running for two days so we are going to discuss uh, pond setup filtration water quality disease stress toxins um, certification processing and uh, the black soldier fly among other things that are very very important stocking density fingerlings and among other things those who are coming for the training will see the fingerlings and how to take care of the fingerlings because it could be a little bit uh, delicate uh, there are people who stock you see people stocking 10,000 capacity and they don't even know they are stocking density in that pond and so they lose a lot of fish and then they get up and they say that uh, 
catfish farming is not a good business i'm not seeing top and all of that but if you have um i won't say the experts but if you have the knowledge you understand what you are doing you are good to go and so thank you thank you guys so much for joining today's live stream i have to get prepared for the training as you can see my guys are almost um, the place is almost set and ready for the training to commence uh, sorry and so um we'll be we'll see you some other time but then yes thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much i'll see you some other time bye